Hi, I'm Daryl Hager, and this is head chef Pepper Hager. Pepper's gonna be showing us how to make a green juice today. And we are using this wonderful juicer. I really love this juicer. We've had a couple different kinds of juicers. We've had an Omega, uh, which has a, uh, what are these called? Um, I wonder if I can show this to you. An Omega will have one of these. This an this auger. Is an auger, right, this is called an auger. So this has, um, this is an auger, a vertical auger on it. This juicer works just great. Uh, I haven't used it in ages, I'm gonna be honest. But what I like about the juicing is when I'm falling off the wagon, which is like I won't be eating salads or getting my greens in, I can go back to juicing. And I love it, I love the juices. So what we got here is um, we got our greens, and these. this is kale, this came from our garden, so this is all organic, we grew this ourselves. Kale is really easy to grow, especially we've had a, a real hot, humid summer, and the kale grew great out of everything in our garden, so it's really nice to have organic kale. The other things I'm putting in here to balance the kale is something sweet, which in this case we're using apples. You can also, also use oranges, depending on the recipe you're doing. I'm gonna throw in a carrot just for the fun of it. Also, we've got a lemon, I've already did my best to get the peel off. And we're gonna spice it up a little bit. We're gonna put some garlic and a little bit of a scotch bonnet pepper, which is similar to a habanero as far as the heat. And I'm not gonna put this whole thing in. I'm, not, I'm actually just, just gonna put about a third of this in and it's still probably gonna be pretty spicy. The only thing we're missing here that I really like to have in these juices is some ginger. And we just didn't, we ran out of ginger, so we're going to do this without it. Pepper's going to help us, so Pepper, do you know how to turn it on? I don't think you do. Okay, so we're on. It's also got a reverse button if you need to back anything out of this. Now, you want to put the lemon in? As you do this, as you do this, whoop! pops right back on there. As you do this and you get a lot of the fiber in, put the garlic in there too, Pepper. As you get a lot of this fiber in, sometimes the machine will get clogged up. Let me help you out there. Okay, push it down. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so sometimes it's good to switch between doing the fiber doing the kale and doing the apples or the carrots. Definitely if you just took a big carrot and stuck it in there, the machine will get bogged down and you have to reverse it out and, and chop your stuff up smaller. So you do have to chop things up a little bit here. Oops, we lost an apple, that's okay. Okay, open her up. Can you open that? Our dog took care of it, it's gone. Yep. Good dog, our dog is fruitarian. <laughs> yep, good job, baby. You'll do it? Okay. All right, let's get this some more greens in there. This is great to teach your kids, too. Yeah, Pepper likes making the juices. Okay. Shove that down in there. Push it on down. Good job. And you can see our juice is coming out this side like it's supposed to. Our fiber is coming out this side into here. The great thing about this fiber is we also have like a worm bin with our garden. The fiber is great for the worm bin because it's already broken down. It's really easy for the worms to digest. They love it. Alright, so we're just packing in the greens. This is going to be a green juice. If we make it and it's too bitter or too green tasting, we can always cut up another apple and stick it in here. It'd be good even just with kale and apples. It would be a nice tasty juice. Alright, getting our medicine in, right? What color is that? One thing I like about this juicer is that it doesn't foam a lot. Uh, do you remember how some of our older juicers used to foam? You had like an inch thick. Yeah, foam. we had a Breville. And you had to have a strainer that, that would strain it even after it came out. This one I think is pretty easy to clean up with too. You know, it's good in a lot of ways. Okay, crush that down in there. Crush it, Pepper, crush it. Yeah, yeah, I hope it's stuck a little bit. Let daddy help. Okay, see it's getting stuck there a little bit, but we'll just throw a couple of apples in. Okay, pull it up. Okay, crush it. 
Here, let me do this first. Let me do this first. Okay, do your greens. Put your kale in. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Drop her in there. Good job. Okay. Just the pusher. You do have to line this up. There's a white dot there and a white dot there. So sometimes she needs help lining that up. You want to do some apples? How long would you say it takes you to clean up and uh, actually make a juice? Uh, probably five minutes to clean everything up. Maybe a little bit longer, depending on the, the mess. Okay, so I don't know, it's a treat for us. We don't use it every day. We used to juice every day. It's pretty rare that we make a juice now. It's just kind of a treat. And it's nice to make them a little spicy. If you've got someone that likes things that are hot, they don't like, they've never done a juice before, but you put a little garlic or a little hot pepper in there. Here, I'm gonna put some hot pepper in. I'll show you how much I'm gonna put in. And I don't know if we're gonna give you a follow-up. We'll put that much in. <laughs> so this is equal to a habanero as far as how spicy it is. Yeah, we're dropping that in. Save the rest for later. Yeah, these suckers are hot. Do not let them They're fool you. They're tasty though. They've got a sweetness to them. I'm gonna open her up. Okay, and that will kind of feed itself if you, if you jam it down in there. Oh, can you push it, Pepper? Yeah, push all that down in there. Nice. You're a pro. I think we need more apples. <laughs> yeah, push it down. Go ahead. All right, so easy, even a two-year-old can do it. Yeah. All right, open that up. I'm gonna put one in. Right, so we can stop there. Yeah, it will kind of feed down in there. Yeah. Mm. Now this is this is great for the. We got a bunny also. That will go to the bunny. Yeah, except for that hot pepper you just put in there. Yeah, he'll survive it. <laughs> Bring that bunny soon. He'll survive it. Good job. So look, we're, we're cruising now. We don't even have to push it. Oh, we need to push it. Pepper, you're so good at this. You pull it off or is it stuck? There we go. Alright, more kale. Uh, I don't know if you saw, I, I had a collard in there too. Just one. <laughs> That's all you can harvest. Our collards didn't do very well. They did really great up north, but in yeah. Florida here, it's a lot harder to grow the collards. Huh? We had a lot of in the in the beds. We had a lot of sand in them. Which next time, anytime we make a future garden bed, I won't put any of the Florida sand in it. Which is really a bad idea. Nothing does well. The when you're trying to water and stuff, the water just rolls off the beds. It's hard to get it moist. It's hard to get the moisture in there. Okay, that's pretty much it. And look how much fiber comes out with all that kale we made. Look how much juice we got. And look how much fiber is left. Yeah, so there is some foam, but it's not, not too bad. So when you think about all the kale we're about to eat, I don't think there's any really complaining like, oh, you didn't get enough fiber in. I mean. There's just a tiny bit of fiber, you know? It's This is what we're consuming. And it's easy to get it down. It would be really hard to eat that entire thing of kale, even if you- Why don't we you... do a taste test? What kind of taste test? I want to see you drink it. Oh, okay. All right, let's drink it. <laughs> it's done. Oh, you want to do more? Okay. <laughs> she wants to keep juicing. All right, let's, just, done. let's do a little taste test. We'll mix her up. I'll let you know if it sucks. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you. You like this it's one. Looking this good, is though. kind of a sure thing recipe, other than except for that hot pepper. And and you know, I love the ginger in it too. Everyone likes the ginger if they've ever had this. This would be a this is the lemon ginger glass minus the minus the ginger this plus is a, a hot couple lemon. Extras. This is a hot lemon blast. And now look at this. It's got this little because it's still dripping. I can just close that. Yeah. So then it doesn't keep dripping. And it's real. Together. That will pop off, but. It's, it's real reliable that it's not going to slip off on me. So we'll just call this a hot lemon blast. Woo! I can smell the kale too. 